All right, we have a little uh, target for today. Um, this is my 509th bomber group, the online uh, group that uh, I fly a B-17F and a B-24D with. Um, this is my B-24 getting ready to fly um, to Puka, Egypt and hit the supply depot. Uh, we have everybody here is on their second mission. Um, and as far as our mission log goes, we have that all filled out already. Uh, we're going to have poor weather. We're going to have, uh, I believe it's mostly obscured. I will double check that. It says so on the uh, web page. Uh, the stuff they predetermined for us, so we keep keep consistency throughout the uh, squadron. Um, bombing manually, mostly obscured. Yes, I'll just copy and paste that while we have a chance. Control C, and then back to here. I like to put that down here. All right, and then we remember that for later. So okay, we are basically ready. Um, mission number two. Guys are still rookies. We only hit 5% last time. That's better than my, uh, my B-17 did. Um, get the right vessel sheet up here. Um, I did forget to put my formation in. 15. We are a middle squadron of the high group. We're going to be 15. I'm just choosing 15. They really don't assign a middle position for anybody. Um, in the squadron you get if you're tail and Charlie or lead then you uh, you then get a uh, position but not for this okay let me draw one more B24 down here just so we have it markers B24 bomber location and we are 15 I just like to have them in there I never look at them but I like having them in there just because Okay, I'll try to keep this video short. If it starts going long, I'll start pausing things out. Um, this we can close out for right now. Go immediately to the charts. Don't have to worry about dates to a uh, mission that's already taken care of. Don't have to worry about targets already taken care of. All the pre-mission stuff is taken care of, even the fighter escort. So we will go to starting the mission, and uh, the weather is poor. We've already had that rolled for us also, so basically all we have to do is take off. And um, we're going to roll a D10 and do that. And we roll a 10. Takeoff is okay. Bomber is now airborne over its base in zone 1 on the strategic map. And it might help if I get all my pieces back in there. I get lazy on that zone placement sometimes. All right, so we are now in zone two. We don't have to check the weather because it's already checked for us. We are at 50% cloud cover. So we don't have a um, mission recall. So there will be no mission recall. Um, mechanical failure, we roll four. And we get a 16, which is no mechanical failure. Uh, contrails, we need a 1 to 10, I mean 1 to 3 out of 10, no contrails. Formation, we are in formation. We are above 10,000 feet. The German Air Force resistance level is already chosen for us, and that is, and I should have written this down, and I will do so now. Light. moderate over zone 4 we got moderate and then moderate again I'm sure because you go in and out if I could type that would be so nice alright and then we have moderate and light on the way out again alright we also for a fighter cover we have fair on the way out good then good and then good poor poor on the way back so it'll be interesting on the way back medium flak coming in light flak going out 
Okay, so we uh, got no contrails, we got German Air Force resistance, now we're going to find the number of German waves. Okay, we're going to roll a D10. 10, nice. Um, we have light. That's minus 1 is 9. We are in the high cell, so we get no modifiers. So 9 will be 2 waves. Um, escort levels fair. We're going to have how many German fighters removed? Let's get a. Let's get a. Uh, first off, I got to type this in here. Get ahead of myself. Uh, wave one, zone two, outbound. And then I'm going to pull that down and make it a zone a wave two, so I can keep track of everything. All right. Um, so wave one. We're in the med. We're in the light. We're going to roll. 2d10, no, 2d6, come on Greg, get it together, 24, 24 is 1109, 12 o'clock high, and I believe we're doing um, Italy on this, so one, two, well, and actually we don't even have to set him up because he's going to get chased away, 1109, 12 o'clock high, And um, i got to put that down in my grid, too. Um, well, he's going to be chased. We'll make sure he gets chased first. But number of German fighters driven off by friendly. We have uh, a fair cover. D6. D we got a 6. That's 1. 1, zero, and 0. Okay, now this makes a big difference because the second wave... So we have him driven off. I'll put a 109 down here. Escort intercept one. All right, second wave. On the light, not D10s. 33, three 109s, and we have zero driven out on this one. So, and they're coming in at 10:30 level. Oh come on! really driving me nuts. Now it's going to be my, my uh, mouse cord getting in the way. I'm definitely going to go wireless. 1030 level. Um, ba -ba 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 boom, boom, boom. 12 o'clock low. And 3 o'clock high. All right. So let's set them up, shall we? ME 109s. Uh, we have a 1030 level. We have a 12 o'clock low. And we have a 3 o'clock high. And by the way, the target should be down here on 4. I'm horrible on that track. Uh, okay, I just basically play the game off of my uh, mission log, so I tend to forget about all that. Okay, so what we're going to do here then is get back to our charts, do things in order. Um, we have zero removed from this wave, so we're going to have defensive fire allocation. We'll start over here at the 1030 level. 1030 level says we have top turret, left cheek, and a nose turret, but we don't have a nose turret, so it's top turret and left cheek. Subject to change. Um, 12 o'clock low. We have ball, ball turret and a nose gun. And. I lost him. There we go. I think I'm also going to go ahead and take and put my tail gun up on him with a passing shot. And then 3 o'clock high. 3 o'clock high will be top turret and right waist. So belay that. What we're going to do is we're going to move the top turret over here 
to help with him and we're going to take the tails over here to 1030 and we've we got two two uh, guns spar on each one so everybody but my right cheek and my left waist will get ammo marked off Okay, then we're going to go to German, German fighter pilot skill. So at 10.30 we have a, an ace, 12 o'clock we have an uh, average, and 3 o'clock we have a greenie. Okay, uh, bomber defensive fire. Let's start over here. The passing shot doesn't happen until after the attack, so it's the left cheek. And he rolls a 9. That's a good roll. 9 against an ME109 against an ace will make it an 8 against an 8 8 8 8 going once going twice that's a hit uh, hit against German and so he's an ME109 and we have no ace, no nothing. It's a single gun, but not against an FW-190. So we are rolling straight up on the ME-109 chart, and we roll a four, FCA. That's all right. Can, at least we get one off of them, FCA. OK. Left cheek's done. I'm up front, nose gun. Back to bomber defensive fire. He rolls a nine again. Um, against the average, so we're looking at straight up nine. That's going to be a hit, and then again, it's going to be a straight up uh, roll. Eleven nose gun gets a gets a kill, and I usually have my uh, nav doing the nose gunning. I mean, bomber near. Never mind. I usually have the nav jumping back and forth between the cheeks and the bombardier staying up front, unless of course we don't have anything going on there, in which case I split them. So that'll be a kill for the bombardier. So we have one KIA, and I'll put uh, nose gun. Actually, let's not put nose gun. Let's put bomb. So I know. Okay, and he goes away. And the uh, ball turret goes back. And one at three o'clock, the greenie coming in. We'll go ahead and do the right waist first. Three, that's going to be a miss. And then we'll do the top turret second. Five, I believe that's going to be a miss too, but we'll go through the uh, He's got a couple modifiers here, so we'll go through the uh, modifiers to make sure. Against the 109, uh, green is makes it 6, 7 for 3 o'clock, functioning power turret makes it 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, see this is why I wanted to check this one out. And that will get him a hit. Hit damage against German. Um, this is a twin gun against a uh, ME-109, so we're going to add one on the 109 chart. And he rolls an 8-9, destroyed. So we got a 109 KIA. And that is my top turret, which is my engineer. So we got two MIAs. So we're going to put them on probable right now. So we still got one in play. All right, he's going to attack us. German fighter offensive fire. He's coming in from 1030 level, which means he needs a nine or more. We're subtracting one, but adding one, nine. That's eight, nine. So he's going to hit us. And so we're going to go shell hits by area, 1030, rolling 2d6, 4, that's 2. Modifiers for an ME109, we're going to roll once. That's a 2, that can be, um, I'm going to roll 1 to 3, 
that is superficial otherwise it's a hit that'll be a hit and the second one is five one so we got two hits against us put them over here actually put it out one more space all right now two hits well, now we go to the B17 and no, B24. We're in a B24. Don't forget it. Uh, 1030. And we're coming in from the level position. So we roll for the first hit. We get a 9. Bombay. Oh, joy. Oh, we love Bombay damage, especially when we have a full Bombay. Um, so we roll once on the Bombay. 5. Bombay doors. Roll one die six, absolutely stunning. Three, uh, superficial damage, no effect. Thank goodness. All right, Bombay. I'm making a mess of my keyboard here. Bombay and E, and that's two. And I will put a superficial in over here. Okay, we got lucky on that one. That could have been all kinds of nasty. All right, 10:30, second hit. Eight. Nose. This can be all kinds of nasty. Nose or be 24. Five. Bombardier and navigator. Uh, roll one die six. Five. Both roll for a wound. Well, how do you do? If Bombardier's KIA or seriously wounded, Bomb Run is automatically off target. So, we go to 517 and roll for each of them. Oh, I love it. Five. Oh, not 2D. It's a 1 die 6. Or right, we're going Bombardier and Nav. Dominat Order, Bombardier 3. Light wound bombardier. And I think that's 10. No, 10's for serious wound. Let's go to Peckham charge quick and get, I gotta keep track of that right away or I'll forget it. Peckham points, be 24. Wounds, light too. That's not bad. Okay, um, and actually then we will go back to the B24 damage, and we will roll for, oops, 517, location of a shell hit for light wound from table 517, 2d6, 8, lower extremities, 2, leg cut, grazed, superficial. And I cannot spell for shit. Okay. And for the nav, he will be, go back to 517, 1d6, 1, light wound, may continue duties. Nav, light wound, 2. And let's roll on the same uh, 517A for what his hit is. Seven, lower extremities. Six. Torn gluteus muscle. Now well, that's not good. That hurts almost thinking about it. Okay, um, so that's our two hits for him. We roll for a collision. We have none. Um, he hit us. He has FCA, so that means he will continue on his attack. But he's got to get past our uh, passing shot first. So we will go then back to... Um, you know what? Before I go too far, I want to pause this. So I'm going to check my 509th charts out for uh, variance regarding wounds. And I want to read up on this, so bear with me for each of them and I'm going to go ahead and do it right now 
I need to roll a d6 to see when they uh, come back. And I also got to remember to come up here and put light wounds on both of them. Oops. We don't have that. I did put a uh, easy drop down menu on these guys, but it's not showing up yet because of my save. So that'll be a marker. Light wound. We'll just draw a light wound on him and a light wound on him. Alright, draw one die six for the bombardier. Three. The next day. And six. Three days for the uh, nav. So far. This is all subject to change. That makes sense too. He just got a superficial, whereas the other guy has a torn glute, so. I'd probably be out of action too for that for a little bit, three days. Okay. All right, back to business. So uh, we're basically going to go in then and fire our passing shot. So we need to go back to five. Go back to the bomber defensive fire, and roll for our tail guns. Ten. That's going to be a good shot. Um. Against an ME-109, no addition, minus one for the ace is, minus, is nine. Uh, passing shot makes it an eight. That's it. That's a hit. And he has twin guns against a 109, so that's going to add one on the ME 109 chart. 7, 8, FBOA. He'll break off the attack, so we will no longer see him again. And so we will come down here, put one damaged in, and then we're going to put one damage down here on my other chart. Sorry, you guys can't see this, but I, I keep track of a lot of things, and I'll show you that so you know what I'm doing. Keep track of the waves, whether they're driven off, killed, who claimed them, um, and how many hits. So I know when we get done that, okay, that was the second wave. Right there, we had uh, one one driven off in the first. We only had one attack, and now uh, we had no evasive action and no flak because we're over water. So um, when I go when I go silent on you and I'm, you hear a clickety clack, that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, so we're going to move the three. That clears all the uh, waves out. I'll bring him back down here. Take off passing shot, and um, we go back to there will be a mission recall. We have fifty percent, so there will be no mission recall. Mechanical failure, we roll 2d10, 37, no mechanical failure. Uh, contrails, one to, uh, one to three out of a d10, we have no contrails. We are in formation above 20,000 feet. We now face moderate German Air Force resistance. So we'll see how many number of German fighter waves we get counter. We roll a d10, we roll a two. We have a uh, plus one for moderate is three. Zero waves. Okay, um, zero driven off, zero attacks, no evasive action, no flak. Going and moving on to zone four. Zone four is our target area. And we already know the weather. I'm going to go ahead and bring down my chart. So I do this step by step. I mean, my flow chart. Um, and somewhere on here, there we go, I have a marker. Uh, move into the next zone, we've done that. Target zone weather, we have 100% cloud cover. Target visibility is mostly obscured. Mechanical failure, and I do contrails at the same time. Mechanical failure is 55, so we have no contrails. We have no mission recall. In fact, we'll have no mission recall for the rest of the trip, so we can fill all that out. Right, because now the emission is a go. Uh, mechanical failure was none. And contrails. 
three. We have contrails, but it's not going to matter because of the 100 percent. But I rolled for them anyway. We are in formation and above 20,000 feet, and we look for German resistance now. Um, we have moderate, and now we're looking for the number of fighter waves. So again, we're going to roll a D10, five. Uh, we are over target zone, makes it six, seven for being moderate. That's one wave. One wave coming in. So I'm going to go ahead down here and put wave one. Zone four, outbound. We're going to roll for that and the moderate 34 that'll be three 109's and a 110 C wow 3 ME 109's 6 level 6 high flooding my rear zone there uh, 130 low And 110C at 12 o'clock level. Okay, let's set that up, shall we? Uh, three 109s, not two, Greg. All right, six o'clock level. Okay. Six o'clock high. Okay, uh, one thirty low. All right, and one ten C. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, hold on, let me go back to my chart here. Make sure I wrote that down right. 110C. Yeah, there is no uh, Italian one on that, so we will get a uh, ME 110 on there. And he was coming in from 12 level. Okay, there we have the setup. Now. One mean and nasty wave. We have good fighter escort, so that's going to help us. So we're going to see how many German fighters say goodbye, and we're going to roll two dice. And we roll snake eyes, so we roll three and a two. So that's going to get rid of all but one of them. Good cover. So, which ones do I want to get rid of? Well, that's pretty easy. We get an extra bonus for firing at um, the rear rear uh, guys, so it's going to be one of the rear. So we'll just return these guys. These guys are driven off, and I think we'll go with the uh, the high because we I think we stand a better chance of getting more guns on him. All right, then we go for defensive fire allocation at six o'clock high, and top turret radio room and tail guns which is why I wanted to go high. Yes, we get an extra modifier for firing against a 110, but um, I think with these three firing at them, we stand a better chance. So radio, radio, radio. I lost my radio, didn't I? Hmm. Where is my radio? Oh, that's right. Radio is B-17 only. Yes, B-17 only. Okay, so uh, that's what we got. German fire pilot skill, five, he's going to be an ace. Um, bomber defensive fire, we will start with the tail guns. He rolls a six. Against a 109, against an ace makes it six, five. Tail is not a power turret. Six seven for being six o'clock. That's gonna be a miss. Tail guns misses. Up to the top turret. He rolls an eight. That should be a hit. Um, against a one oh nine, ace pilot makes it a seven. He is a functioning power turret eight. Six o'clock makes it 
910 so he has a hit hit damage against German on a 109 we're going to add one because he's twin guns against a 109 10 11 so we have a 109 destroyed let me put three driven off and that will be uh, three makes that three of those and one of those and then we have a ME-109 shot down by the top turret, which is our engineer again. And I will go through and roll at the end to see if any of these are actually um, confirmed. Alright, so that was wave one, the only wave we have nothing to worry about that we got through them okay go back to our flow chart um, we go now to flak determine flak we know that's moderate we're gonna roll for flak so we do that that's uh, six flak to hit bomber medium flak we roll three times on this uh, looking two three 11 or 12, three times. One, that's five, miss. Eight, miss. Nine, miss. Three misses. I'm gonna put flak out. Three, miss. All right, back to our uh, chart. That brings us to flak damage none. Bomb run, table six, six. We are manually bombing. We're mostly obscured. We're going to roll 2d6, 7. We are in formation. Um, manual bombing, so he's, he's fine. Um, six, because we're less than five missions. He's wounded in action, but he can continue his duties. So I guess they should really say SW. So that doesn't go against us. So we're still at six. Mostly obscured makes us a uh, five. And five is on target. So we are on target. Very nice. And then bombing accuracy on target. We roll a 10, much better, 50%, very good, very, very, very good, okay, 50% on target, I like that, that's the best on, best one I've done for the 5 and 9 so far, um, determined flak on the way out, we have light, so um, we will roll three times on that again. And we're just looking for snakes, snake eyes and box cars three times. First, second, and third. Two, eight, and nine all misses. So we'll put flak inbound. Okay. Then we go to checking our German, uh, yes, German resist and turn around, head for home. Get that right. German resistance, again, that's going to be moderate. So we go back then and roll for a number of fighter waves. Six, we were over target seven, moderate is eight. Two waves this time. We are still good, uh, fighter escort level. Let's roll for the first wave. Oh, let's write them down first. Wave one. Zone 4 inbound, and then we're going to draw that down and make it two of them. That way I don't forget how many waves I'm dealing with. Okay, and then let's roll for them waves. So the first wave is going to be 12, 2 M109s, 130 high.
nine level. Okay. Let's see if there are any are driven off. Number of fighters driven off. We have good cover again. Oh, yeah, it's 2d6. Five. We roll a two and a one. So both of those are driven off. Okay, so that makes a total of five driven off. Six driven off. I, I lost my math somewhere online. Oh, no, it isn't. Five M and one and nines, one, one, ten. So I didn't lose it. Okay, um, so none of them will show up. Now we're going to roll for the second wave. Moderate. 64. 4109. Something tells me we're seeing some of them. Alright, 4 ME 109s. 6 high. Uh, 9 low. Uh, 12 level. And 130 level. Okay, let's put them out. All 109s. Okay, I gotta get rid of the, uh, we don't need the flow chart anymore. 6 high. 9 low. 12 level. 130 level. Alright. Then we're going to go back to the charts. I don't know, we already know how many are driven off. Uh, we lose one from the second wave. So, who am I most afraid of here? Six high, nine low, yeah. Who am I most afraid of? Get a, We get a, a extras for him. I'll just get rid of him. One driven off. And that makes six of them. Okay, back to the charts. Come on, quit jumping around, Greg. Uh, number of German fighters removed. We did that defensive fire allocation, so we'll start with the nine o'clock level. Or nine o'clock that was nine o'clock level, not low. It was nine low. Okay. Um ball turret and left waist. Alright, twelve o'clock level. Top turret and nose gun. Alright, and 6 o'clock level, or 6 o'clock high. Yep, 6 o'clock high. Well, the top turret and the tail turret, so we'll put the tail guns on him. Lovely. Okay, so everybody but my cheeks, and... My right waist. I forgot to do ammo for that second pass. On no, that was the tail gunner got him on the way through. Never mind. Cheeks in the right waist. Yes, left waist actually gets his first shot in. Okay. German fighter pilot skill start at nine o'clock. He's average. Twelve o'clock. Ace, six o'clock, ace. Okay, uh, bomber defensive fire. Let's start over here. We'll go with the left waist first. Gets a four, probably going to be a miss. 
five for nine o'clock. That's going to be a miss. Um, ball turret. He rolls an 11. That's going to be a hit. I don't even have to do the mods for that one. He's got nine o'clock. He's got uh, power turret. All that goodies. So he's a twin guns against a one and nine. We're adding one. Eight, nine destroyed. Ball turret. Uh, so one and nine KIA. All right, 12 o'clock. We'll start with the nose gun. One, I mean two, that's a miss. Um, guns jam, see note A, fighter attacks normally. Uh, for single gun mounts, gun is automatically jammed. May attempt to fix jam once in each zone entered. So right now we lost our nose gun and he is jammed. Okay, um, so now it's up to the top turret. He rolls an 8. Against an ace is 7. 8 for our functioning power turret. 12 o'clock level makes it 9. So he gets a hit. And again, we're a plus 1 for a 109 against twin guns. 9-10. 1 and 12 o'clock goes out. 1 and 9, KIA. That'll be our engineer again. Third one for him. Return him to deck, bring the nose gun, uh, top gun back down. And that brings uh, the tail gunner as the last one. He's going to roll a 7. That's probably still a hit. Um, six for being against an ace. Seven for a function. No, he does not have a functioning power turret, but seven, eight plus two for the six o'clock. So that makes a hit right there. Okay. So we're going to go hit damage against the German. Again, twin guns against a 109. We add one, four, five, uh, six, seven, FBOA. He will, he will get the attack in on us. One damaged. Alright. And it's his turn to try to retaliate. He needs a really good roll to do so, but uh, I've seen it happen before. Uh, coming in from 6 o'clock, we're subtracting 2 and adding 1. 7. 5, 6. Eight, yeah, 5, 6. That's a miss. Barely, but a miss. So we'll check for collision. 7, no collision, he will return to deck and that will be gone and we have one miss one damaged to M109 two probable, one two, three, four five, yeah, five gotta update that, five probables Okay, so we had one attack, oops, two and one, and um, inbound we had zero attacks, yes, inbound we had zero attacks, I got my columns all screwed up again, one attack on the way out, no evasive action, we already did the flak. Now we're going to move into zone 3. Weather in zone 3 is 50%. No mission recall. Rolling for mechanical failure. 57 is no. Uh, contrails. No. We are information above 10,000 feet. We got moderate German fighter uh, uh, resistance again. So we're going to roll for. We 
waves. We roll an eight, nine for moderate. That's going to be two more waves. Okay, wave one. Zone three inbound. And we'll drag it down and make it two. Okay, let's see what we got here. Moderate. 24. Two 109s, three high in VC. Okay. And we're going to see how many are driven off. We have poor fighter cover this time. And we roll a 7, which is going to be absolutely nothing. So we're going to see them all. So how about we set them up? 3 high and vertical climb. Okay. them down here a little bit so we can actually put our charts up here defensive fire allocation we go with three o'clock high first that's top turret right waist and uh, vertical climb ball turret ball turret top turret right waist Okay, and we're going to German fighter pilot skill. We'll do the uh, three o'clock first. Green, and the guy doing the climb, ace. All right, defensive fire. Let's start up here with the right waist. Seven. Um, against the one and nine zero against the green makes it eight. Three o'clock makes it nine. He's going to get a hit, no addition because he's only got a single gun. Two. Oh, well, yeah, FCAB. Okay. And then top turret. He rolls a six against green as a seven. Uh, 8 for 3 o'clock, 9 for functioning power turret. Going to be a hit. Dual leases the twins against an ME 109. So we're going to add 1, 7, 8, FBOA. That ought to keep him out of our hair. So we got 1 damaged on that. that in there in our little handy dandy chart okay um, next ball turret four against vertical climbs five six seven against an ace is a six functioning power turret is seven not gonna be enough he misses that could hurt us. All right, German offensive fire. We'll start with the three o'clock. He needs to come in and get an eight. We're subtracting two, three. Eight minus three is five. Misses, collision, no collision. Um, he's green, yes, it'd be nine. Uh, Did not score any hits, so that's an eight. So yeah, there's no uh, no collision. So we'll put one miss in here, and hopefully we'll be putting two misses in there. Okay. Um, next is the ace coming from the vertical climb. 
from an offensive fire. He needs a seven or more, and he's an ace, so he's going to be adding one. Nine. That's going to be a hit. Shell hits by area vertical climb. Four. That's going to hurt. Two. ME109. First roll is a six, which is two. Second roll is a four, which is one. So we have three hits against us. Coming from a vertical climb. All right, first roll, six, wing. Roll one die, six, one, left wing. Six, superficial, no effect. That'll be two. All right, so we'll put that right there. Next hit coming from the vertical climb. Seven, superficial. That's one. And third hit. Will be. Three. Radio room. Nose pot at top. Radio room, okay. BE3 flight deck, top turret and radio room, B24D. Okay, there we go. Six, radio operator, roll once on the wound chart. 517. Back to 517, wound chart. One, light wound again. Seven, lower extremities, three, thigh, thigh glazed, grazed. Uh, that's our radio. There went my sneeze. Oh boy, something about recording. I, I caught that one, but that hurt. Uh, left wing, I mean left wing, light wound, two, thigh grazed, and we got to look up the chart and see how far along he's going to be out, six, three days. Okay, um, and, um, He gets to come back and see us too. So we will go back to combat tables. Second and third round. He's going to come back in at 10.30. And he's going to come in at 10.30 level. I'm going to do a little defensive fire allocation. 10.30 level. Top turret left cheek. That's it. Um, actually, 1:30 we can put tail guns on them too. 10:30, do a passing attack. Okay, German fighter pilot skill. We know that already. Defensive fire. Let's start up top. Go for the left cheek. Left cheek. He gets an eight, seven for against an ace. That's gonna be a miss. Top turret. Ten. That's gonna be a hit, even against an ace. Damage against the German, 110, twin guns, add 167, FBOA. And that'll be another one damaged. Okay. And then he's going to attack us. 
four. That's going to be a miss. Check for collision. Ten. That's close enough where we've got to look it up. Uh, German pot is green. No. One ten. No. Um, ace. Yes. That's a eight and nine. And he did not score any hits. It's a it's ten. I mean an eight. So he's not even close to a. Uh, Hitness. He will return to deck after he puts up with our defensive fire from our tail gunner. Who rolls a six? Um, that's going to be a miss. Passing shots minus one. Ace minus one. So he, re he, he gets to fly back to his base damaged. And we had another attack. That'll be two misses. And that was just wave one. Wave two moderate 12 two 109s we've already had this this one all right 130 high and nine o'clock level So we can tuck this in down here. Defensive fire uh, allocation. Uh, let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, we do. Defensive fire allocation first. I'll start at 9 o'clock level. Getting a little sleepy. A top turret and ball turret. Wow. Top turret, ball turret, left waist. Okay, and then at uh, 130 high, we have top turret, right waist, right cheek. Right waist, right cheek. And we're going to go ahead and keep that, and we're going to have him do a passing shot on him. So everybody but the nose gun and the left cheek. Okay, and then we're going to German fighter pilot skill. We'll start at 9 o'clock. He rolls a green. And the one at 130 is base. Alright, defensive fire. Let's start with the ball turret. 9. That should be a hit. We got plus 1 for green, plus 1 for 9 o'clock, plus 1 for power turret. Yes, that's a hit. Uh, 109 twin, twin guns. 7 8 FBOA damaged. Um, left waist, seven, uh, against green makes it eight, nine o'clock makes it nine, he's going to hit, no uh, adjustments on this chart, seven, that's going to be an FBOA, two FBOAs should be a kill, I've always been playing it that way. Um, because three FCAs are a kill. Uh, so two FBAs, which will be a minus four modifier, should be based on that theory. It doesn't say anything in the charts about it, but I'm going. I always play that way. So that will give left waist a kill on a nine KIA. Okay. Delete that. Send him back to deck. Left waist there. Top turret flies uh, fires off. Um, he won't even get to, get to claim it. Uh, and that'll be another probable six. Okay. Um, now the 130. We will do the right cheek first. Nine possible. Eight against an ace. Yeah, we got no damage up there to think of, so that's a hit. We're not going to be adding anything. This is the uh, right cheek. Be our navigator. 
9. That's a destroyed, so the right cheek gets a K. That'll be another kill. Wow, we racking them up. Okay, so that'll be uh, just the three attacks from last. Wave, uh, no evasive action, no flak, move into zone two. Oh, no, that was the right cheat. You could right cheat the guy, him. He's gone. Get rid of that. Thinking I'm forgetting things. You know, it's time to finish and go to bed soon when I start doing that. Okay, um, 100% cow cover. Uh, mission recall, no. Actually pull that over here. Um, mechanical failure, no. Contrails, no. Information above 20,000 feet. We have light German resistance rolling for waves. D10, 1, 0. That'll be 0 waves. 0 removed, 0 attacks, no evasive action, no flak comes into landing weather in the uh, or, or landing around base is poor and we're gonna roll for our landing then up to d6 8 so we have all engines fine we have no bombs on board Minus one makes it seven for poor weather. That's it. Safe landing. All right, that is it. Jam and Jess made it back. Successful mission, 50% on target bombing. And um, well, we had three light wounds, but uh, overall Peckham, will be minimal at best. Um, let's see, add that up real quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven peck on points of damage. And we'll, we'll do all the other stuff off uh, target because you guys don't mean off of the uh, video because you guys don't need to see all that I do take a picture of this and save it as a PNG so I know 509th that was Jam and Jess <laughs> I think that was Jam and Jess's right there so I'm going to go ahead and name that Jam and Jess 2. Alright, and then we can hit reset on that. Alright, thanks everybody for joining me. And hope you all have a great night. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you again.